Okay, so we're going to move this cabinet and we're trying out some, uh, some weird piano moving dollies here. Um, these came from the rental yard and uh, they're designed for moving like upright pianos. And they're actually pretty cleverly designed and uh, I'd never used them before. I've used a similar version like for moving safes, things like that, that has a hydraulic jack in it. But these have an interesting little uh, kind of a cam lever here uh, that raises them up. Um, so we're going we're gonna to move uh, this uh, Vidmar cabinet here. And this thing is, uh, <laughs> it's 28 by 30 by, I don't know, 40 or whatever it is, right? And uh, yeah, 44. And it's full, of, it's chock full of tools. And, um, or, no, or as Adam would say, slap full of tools, right? So, I don't know, probably weighs a ton. Uh, yeah, maybe not that much, but uh, it's pretty dang heavy. The, so, here's my dilemma. I'm by myself here, right? So, yeah, I could take all the drawers out, but even the drawers with the stuff in them are too heavy for me to handle by myself, right? So, I, I would have to unload every drawer, take the drawer out, then move the cabinet, then restuff. It's just, okay, it, it, a logistic problem. These are uh, rent for $23 for 24 hours. So, um, like, a, less than a buck an hour, all right? So uh, that's pretty good. I'll take them back tomorrow, which is Saturday. Um, so right now I got the cabinet up about, I don't know, half an inch or something like that so we can get these in. So uh, let's, uh, let's get with the, with the program here and, and go ahead and move these. Now, the, I'll tell you, the most complicated part to figure out on this was the silly little straps that they give you to, um, um, to actually, you know, secure this to the load. And we'll see that in a second, so I'm going to help you out if you read these, because uh, then you won't have to figure out this silly little uh, loop on the other end. It took me about 15 minutes to figure it out, so let's, uh, I'll get it all set up and I'll show you the loop, then we'll do the lift. Alright, so one side is the anchor side, and it has a little, a little ring on this side, so we're just going to hook that over the... Uh, the anchor side and keep it flat going all the way around. Let's go around to the other side and we'll, we'll uh, do the, the complicated part. All right, so we got the strap coming from the other side. So here's the little, the little buckle thing and then it's got a little latch here. So you cam it over and then that snaps in and holds it. So and that's how you release it. So like I said, it took me a minute to figure, figure this out because I'm not that smart. Now we go in through that, okay, you guys paying attention here, you're going to, you know, refer back to this video, I'm telling you, because nobody else has it. <laughs> and then, then, so keeping it flat, okay, we go around the back, and then bend around this loop, okay, you guys see that? Alright, and then we come out, okay, and now what we can do is we can... We can still take up slack here easily, right? But you see when I cam this over, it pinches, it pinches the free end there and locks it, okay? And that's how we get tension. So what I've been doing is pull up some tension, then give it a, a little tug and suck up a little more, and then cam it over like that. Click, lock, okay? And then you just deal with the tail, all right? So pretty tight, all right? So let's look at that again. Let me release it. Okay. And then you can see. So in through that, around the back, and then up over that peg, and then we're doubled up. And that's the, that's the secret. All right. So let's do that. All right. Now let's, uh, let's raise these little monkeys up. Let me reset the camera, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll raise them up. All right. So the theory here is that you, you cam this down, and you see the, the wheels, and then you step on this. Let's try it. Okay, I was able to do it. Um, the other way, because there's a lot of weight in these, there's a lot of weight in these. What I did was I did it this way, like that, and then and got a little extra leverage. That worked pretty good too. Okay, so now it's up on the wheels. We can get those out of there. 
me do the other side, and then uh, Bob's your uncle. Out of everything, check this out. You pull those up, and you got a little bit of leverage. So this thing, like I said, it's full of tools, man, and it has no wheels on it. It's dead flat on the floor, so it's a real pain in the bleepity bleep. Okay, so let's go put it in place. Positioning cabinets to machinist tolerances here. <laughs> Only needs enough to get the strap out of there. I want to leave a little space behind this. Okay, not a lot, but a little bit. And the reason is uh, I need a place to to keep uh, like full sheets of plywood and stuff like that that doesn't uh, interfere with the rest of the shop. So I'm gonna leave a little gap back there, and then that'll be my little plywood thing. This one. It's going to come forward, but I need room to get that out right now. Okay, so let's uh, drop the hook here. Actually, I'm going to put the wedges back under. Squash your head and you dum dum. dum, dum. <laughs> okay. okay. So, pretty easy. So, like I said, uh, check your local rental. Uh, these are piano moving dollies. That's what uh, um, I've come to know their name. Um, and cheap rental. And if you got cabinets like this to move, looks like the uh, Hot whammy way to do it, so check them out.